What's happening everybody? Back here with a little bit of a different video. Kind of taking a pause on the modified. Need to go pick up some sheet metal to start on the decking and the body. That's kind of waiting on that. I've got some other suspension parts coming in to upgrade it. Uh, a couple other little odds and ends to put this car back together. But today, we're working on something a little bit smaller. Let's say we'll pick up this. This is a Team Associate SC10. This is the factory T and this is like the first short course truck the Team Associated produced. It's like back in like 08-ish, I think. Um, had one of these as a kid. Growing up, I didn't have the factory team edition. Factory team, you know, you got the threaded shocks and everything, but you're able to find these on eBay for relatively cheap, under 100 bucks is like a, a roller. Um, and these are a perfect base model to turn into a RC short course modified. And that's what I'm doing. So I went ahead and picked up this body from Mr. Customs. So you can tell that's a nose right there to a modified. Look, it's even got the rivet details in it. You got the hood scoop, the air cleaner. That fits on there just like that. This is the actual body of it, right? You got the decking, you got the fuel cell access. Probably if you're running a dry sump, there's your oil tank, oil cooler. Like, this is pretty neat. You got your cockpit air deflector. You got some spoiler sides if you choose to run a spoiler. That goes on there kind of like that and then this is your roof and sail panels as you can see there this is your roll cage you got to cut out after you paint it all it's like the md3 roof with the um i don't know what you call those the kind of like airplane vortex generators uh but yeah that's the roof that sits on top just like that i also got the front bumper kit to make it even look more scale, there's the front bumper there. And then these are the mounts to go onto the chassis. So again, this is the Mr. Customs body. This body and bumper cost me more than the actual truck itself. This is about a hundred bucks, 120 bucks. Um, that's probably the most expensive thing on this whole build. So as far as electronics go, I picked these up on eBay. This is a brand new Reedy 3300 KV and it's matching ESC, which is electronic speed control for those of you who don't know. Uh, this is brand new out of like a kit. I guess some eBay guy tears apart new kits and sells parts. Um, again, this was picked up for under 50 bucks as the pair. So you got the motor and ESC. Servos, you need something to be able to steer it. I got this off of eBay as well. I got actually two of them shipped to me for like 20 bucks. There's a part number there. They're not crazy fast. They're not crazy torquey but it, it'll work. If these both crap out on me, I will just take out these servos out of this buggy here. I got some really high-end servos in this thing. Um, it brings it to another point. The reason why I'm wanting to get into the RC dirt oval stuff, I mean, we do the little one RC cars at my backyard track that I built. The reason why I'm wanting to do the tent scale stuff is because it takes all freaking day to run at BNT RC Raceway. The one here in Crestview, Florida. Like I'm there from like 8 a.m. to about 9 or 10 p.m. Just running one class, a scale nitro buggy. I uh, grew up racing the off-road stuff. Like I've got a lot of high dollar parts and a lot of money invested in this one. It's really fun, but man, I cannot dedicate a whole Saturday like that anymore. Not with a kid now and not with racing full scale stuff. Like I just can't do it. So. Y'all are interested, I might make somebody a smoking deal on it. I might keep it for the off season. I don't know. I love racing them, but we're doing dirt oval stuff. That's what I like. So we pretty much covered electronics, just cheap electronics. We're not doing nothing fancy. The uh, competition out there doesn't seem too stiff. Just seems like a bunch of basher guys, which is what is fun. I'm not taking this way too serious. This is just a relaxed kind of track and it's gonna be just, like I said, fun. Tires and wheels that I went with. We got the Proline Hoosier G60s. Which let's show you, let's compare these to a real G60 here. All right, so we got some G60s. These, I think I'm gonna try to take a Dremel and groove them up, kind of like I do my full scale G60s. Um, I think Proline did a pretty dang good job matching the actual G60. So these are in the M4 compound, the super soft. Um, these are actually kind of hard to get. They were out of stock in a lot of places. Even my local hobby shop, which is also my sponsor, 
Jimmy's Classic RC Company. Um, they didn't carry these, so I had to find them on eBay. I also picked up some of these DE Racing Speedway SC wheels. These are for the SC10 offset. Um, these are modeled after like the Arrow or Bassett, um, just regular steel wheels, the D, the D holes. So this offset is a little different than these wheels here. I got these RPM, these are called revolvers. These are for a slash two wheel drive rear. Um, they have different offsets. This is gonna help with handling because I believe this pushes the left side out a little bit more than these, these ones do. So just like full scale cars, like running a four inch offset on your right rear and like a two inch offset on your left rear. So these, again, they look more scale, right? I like the chrome look. And then these side, this side is just gonna have mud covers on it. DE Racing also makes these pop-in mud covers for these wheels, so we just got some white ones. It's gonna all match because I'm doing blue body with black decking, exactly what I'm doing here. I'm getting stickers made um, with my sticker kit that I'm getting for this car, it's pretty much everything off my late model. So I told my rap guy, three wide designs. I was like, look, just take all my sponsor stickers in the same color font and everything, and just send me a sticker package. We're doing a solid blue body on this, flat black decking, um, and just gonna put stickers on it. Not doing any kind of fancy wrap like we did here with the stripper glitter and everything. We're, just, we're sticking basic. We're going, back to, we're going back to basic stuff here. Um, Anyways, that covers tires and wheels for this thing. I also ordered some shock parts here. We're going to try some stuff that we do on full scale dirt oval racing. I'm not sure if it's really applicable to these because it's you got independent suspension. Um, and it's just it's just different, you know. Uh, anyways, got some O-rings here. These are not really for a rebuild. I'm going to use these. I'm going to stack these O-rings on this shock shaft here to kind of act as a bump stop, a travel limiter, uh, because I plan on running a little different piston setup in there. That's saying, I got this MIP bypass tuning kit. These, you can kind of see them in there. These are kind of like diaphragms that you put over pistons. So pretty much gonna do like a tie down. I'm gonna have, let's see, the diaphragm on the bottom of the piston to allow fluid to compress but it ain't gonna really be able to extend. It's gonna extend very slowly, just like on the full scale cars. I'll probably do that on both front shocks. Be a little stiffer more on the right front with the rebound. On the left rear, I'm gonna put a uh, diaphragm on top of the piston to uh, promote more extension and then rather than compression, help give it like that pogo shock effect to really help get the car over on the right front so it can pivot and turn on the right front and go. Uh, the right rear, I'm going to leave kind of like a neutral 50-50, uh, but we're just going to play around with it, right? I'm going to try stuff. I'm Again, I'm going to put some bump stops on the right rear. We're going to stack these O-rings. I have these Traxxas travel limiters that I'm going to put in all the shocks just to help set the car down a little bit. Um, I might put a couple travel limiters in that right front just so it has a natural lean to it uh, because I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of body roll. I don't know really how these cars work with you know these kind of bodies i'm assuming those are really heavy and it's going to promote a lot of body roll but we'll see and we can adjust that with camera links and all that kind of thing but we're just going to play around with it i don't know if this will work we got to do some modifications to these um this is something cool that i'm going to play around with so i'm actually going to get to work kind of tearing this truck down i'm gonna tear it all the way down clean it go through it rebuild my shocks kind of how i want them and then start on the body work the body's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I gotta mask off some stuff. The decking is attached to the actual body, so I gotta mask all that off. So I have a black decking and a blue body. Um, I'm also, I need to fire up this car. It ain't ran in a while, and I need to get it tuned in. So it's been sitting in my house for quite some time. I really hate these res motors. I absolutely hate them. But it's what we're running for now, if we continue to run this car. All right, so I'm gonna get to work tearing this thing down. Look out for some more videos of me building this thing. Like I said, first step is tearing it down, cleaning it, putting it back together. And then I'm gonna start putting all electronics in it, doing tires and wheels, setup, and then 
body work. Kind of scared to do this. A lot of cutting, a lot of trimming. And uh, yeah, it's just, it'll be fun. I mean, look at that. Even the nose is angled up. That's pretty neat. But appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to get to work here. I'll see y'all in the next video.